What is going on guys, it's Modded Warfare here, welcome back to another PS4 tutorial. So in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to install and use the Easy Package Extractor from PS4 developer Lappy, who has made another awesome homebrew app which is pretty damn useful. He makes a lot of the good homebrew apps around here like the PS4 Explorer app and PS4 Player. But uh, Easy Package Extractor essentially, what it does is it allows you to extract package files to your USB drive. So um, it doesn't extract the package file, but it it copies the package file from uh, the internal storage of your PS4 to an external device like a USB drive. So that if you've deleted the package file off your computer after you've installed it to the PS4 and now you want that package file back, instead of having to re-download it again um, or having to try and copy it from some location in FTP, you can just use this homebrew app to copy it to a USB drive. So pretty useful stuff. So in order to install this app, I'll link it in the description. This is currently the latest version, but Lappy commonly releases new versions quite often so of his homebrew apps. So expect newer versions down the line as well. But uh, basically what you want to do is install this on your PS4 on 5.05. .05. Of course, to do that, you're going to want to run the hen payload by going into the web browser and going to, I think the address now is 165.227.83.145, I believe. That's one of the exploit links that will take you to um, the exploit page. Um, or you can go to the website that you see at the top in the URL bar and then head to the PS4 section and run HEN, the homebrew enabler. Once you have, so then there's a few different ways to install it. Once you have HEN running, you can either run the homebrew store and then go through all the pages until you get to the easy package extractor and then download it from the homebrew store. Or you can, of course, use the remote package installer. So download the package file to your computer and then use a package sender app to or package linker app to send it over the remote package installer onto your PS4. Or of course you can go with the basic method of just copying the package file to a, a USB drive. So grab a USB drive that's in FAT32 or XFAT format, and then just copy the package file to the root of the USB drive. And then finally on the PS4, you can head over to settings, go down to the debug settings, which you'll have when you run the hen payload then go to game, package installer, and install the package file off your USB drive. So there you go, there's three different ways that you can install this um, package extractor. Although as of right now, when I'm recording, the version in the homebrew store is still version 1.00. The latest version is not in the homebrew store, but that will probably change fairly soon. So by the time you're watching this, it probably will, they probably will have the latest version in the homebrew store. But there you go, we now have the easy package extractor. So how exactly do you use this program? Well, all you have to do is decide which game or app that you're wanting to extract and then run the program. And then you have all of the package files here. It says one out of 33. So I've got 33 package files installed. And then you just use left and right on the D-pad to scroll between the different package files. So we'll just dump some small package files here to the USB drive. Let's dump the YouTube app. So we'll just press X and that copies it to the USB device. It tells you the size as well up there. It also gives you the title ID of the game, the version number. It gives you the whether it's a fake package file or a retail package file. Um, it also tells you, you know, if there's any patches or DLC that's been found for the game. I don't think I have many games installed that actually have other DLCs. Oh, there you go. There's Black Ops 3 which has a patch, you can see it says patch found yes, so there's an update installed for it. Also, you can change what it extracts. So by default, it extracts the package file, any patches for the game, and uh, any DLCs that are installed for the game as well. Uh, but if you press triangle, you can change it so it just copies the package file and the update, or the package file and the DLC, or just the patch and the DLC without the game package file, or just the package file only, update only or DLC only. So it's got all those options that you can switch between. And yeah, pretty awesome stuff. So read remastered. We'll copy that one. It's only 44 megabytes. I'm just trying to do small ones so it's not going to take too long. Let's do say retro NES PS2. Again, that's only 65 megabytes. Even though it's taking a while, bear in mind I have a USB 2 USB stick. So the transfer rates on my USB drive are terrible which is why I'm getting 
you know, it's why it's taking so long just to copy a basic uh, small app like this. If you have a USB 3 USB drive or a external hard drive or even a, let's say, overkill and you have an SSD that's connected via a SATA to USB adapter or something like that, then it's obviously going to extract the files a lot faster. But there we go. So I copied a few uh, package files there out to my USB drive. So let's plug the USB drive back into the computer and see if everything has copied over successfully. As you can see, there we go. We've got obviously the package extractor, which I've still got on the USB drive, but it has copied the other package files that I specified as well. So yeah, there you go. That is how you extract package files from, I mean, I don't want to say extract package files because that's kind of misleading because, um, you know, it makes it sound like you're extracting the package file, the contents of the package file, which is not what this does. It copies the package file to your USB drive from, you know, the installed package file that's on your internal hard drive of your PS4. Um, I think the latest version that he's working on is also going to be able to extract package files from an external storage device. So if you're if you've installed your game um, or your app to an external hard drive uh, on the PS4, then it will also have the option in future in a future version to select the external drive so you can extract or copy the package files from um, the external drive to some other external storage. Or of course, by default, it just does from the internal hard drive. Right now, it copies the package file from the internal hard drive of the PS4 to your external storage. So yeah, pretty handy stuff. So hope you guys enjoyed the video or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.